welcome. Uh, today's stream is sponsored by Humble Bundle Games or Humble Games. And if you guys want to check out uh, this game, it's called Chinatown Detective Agency. Um, it's available now on Steam and I think Switch. And there was one more. Let me double check. Uh, Xbox, Switch, and PC. Those are the three platforms it's on right now. Xbox, PC, and Switch. Um, if you want to check it out, there's a link um, below the video if you're watching on YouTube or in chat under the exclamation point CDA command. Uh, if you want to check it out for your, yourself, we're going to play some today and see how it is. This game is made by General Interactive Company. So let's jump in the game and see what it's all about. Oh, it's on Game Pass. Awesome. Singapore. In the future. Man looks upon all that he has made and sees that it is good. The voice sounds familiar. Look upon my works, he says, and see my greatness. He recounts his deeds in word and song. He builds monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his dominion. He knows this, and he is afraid. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe terrifies him into action. So he creates his greatest work of all, a tribute to his likeness, an extension of his being, a witness to the brilliance of its master and the executor of his commands. But man's greatest work of all does not see brilliance. It sees only corruption, vanity, hubris. It dreams of a world untainted by the touch of man. It's a start. One year later. I'm here for the housewarming party. Well, well. A CID superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. Sounds like a tabloid headline. Once upon a time, maybe. These days, even a commissioner is part of the furniture down in Geelang. Brought you a little gift. I don't drink, Justin. Oh, keep it in a cool, dark place and away from reach of children. Who knows, might be worth something one day when we finally run out of wine. Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Oh, cutting to the chase, huh? I'm a business owner now. I've got bills to pay. Yeah, I've got something. There's a potential client looking for a little help. I've already told him about you. He doesn't like meeting in crowded places, so you need to see him somewhere more discreet. SPF? Civilian. <sighs> when are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know, real work. Firstly, you're welcome. 
Secondly, you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department. Trust me, you do work you regret for a pittance and you get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. And lastly, this is real work. This guy is well connected. He's got the kind of money that can keep your lights on. Lah. You know, you can always just come back. The force is in bad need of people with your talents. No. My days as a cop are over. Oh, no harm in asking. Alright, my guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy. Might actually stay in business for a while. I'm so glad this is voice at you, by the way. Hey, thanks. How are you one? Take care, Dharma. Stay safe out there. Justin wasn't joking. This guy has a penchant for the cryptic. Under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. The Bodhi tree. The Buddha was enlightened under a Bodhi tree. But they aren't native to Singapore. Although, that doesn't mean there aren't any. Not a lot of places where exotic plant life can be found in the city. So that should narrow down my options. Welcome to Chinatown Detective Agency. Available now on Steam. Click the link in the estimation point CDA command to check the game out yourself. Mission will take you to different places in Singapore and in the world. Right now, the mission tasks you with finding a Bodhi tree. Click on the map at the bottom right panel, access the Merp map, and click on location to travel there. Press H to highlight interactable uh, people and objects. Oh, hello. My filing cabinets, a cut cost, a cut cost, cost cutting measure. Didn't think I'd it'd see the day the cloud storage would cost more than the actual physical storage. Delivery menus, paper clippings, vestiges of disappearing print media. No type of anything complete without bulletin board. Inbox, nothing. Uh, let's try the gardens first. That seems like a place you'd find a tree. Love it, buddy. Thank you for that resub. Appreciate that. Tangle Garden first laid out in 1859 during British rule. Countless plants and animals have called us home for the years, but I'm here for one particular, the Bodhi Tree by Swan Lake. Clown should be waiting there. I'll need to hack my way past the maintenance gate, though. Gate. Welcome to Renegade Sleeper Cell. Come to the gate system. Please snap the matching nodes to proceed to hacking. Mismatch detected. This may have detected this criticism might be strictly inaccessible interpretation. Oh god, nope. My memory is not is is meh right now. Nope. <laughs> Come out of bait every time I fell hack. So I try to do to try to get gotta be careful. Yeah, let's try again. My brain. Jeez. My brain is fried today for a reason. more wine yes okay hack uh... 
All right, nailed it. Jeez. <laughs> Access granted. First try. There's nothing quite like the solitude of the gardens without all the children and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. I'm sorry, but I had to do it on purpose. I only work with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you just did. Please, call me Rupert. I work for a special group of people with a wide range of interests. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some legwork done, we outsource. And I assure you, it pays well. I like the sound of that. I just have to say right off the bat that I'm an investigator, not a thug. So I don't do dirty work. Oh, Miss Dharma, I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. Having said that, were you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, I won't stop you. One of our own is in need of some assistance. He is the majority owner of an insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. The financial controller, a man named Philip Ung, has disappeared, along with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. A contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone, and of particular interest is a message received from an unknown source. It reads, Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Huh. That's some cloak and dagger stuff. <laughs> Indeed. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. You're probably right. I'll get on it and keep you posted. Yes, that'd be nice. Although, you won't need to. We'll know where you are. Most of the time. I'd usually find that creepy. But knowing that I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kind of dulls the edge. Resourceful and funny. I like you already. Good luck. Mission log at the bottom right of the corner logs all your leads and other relevant mission to the case. Now you may want to go to the last known location of Philip Ung. Glad they pronounced that for me, otherwise I would have called it. <laughs> uh, National Library. Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this to know so much and to have control over nothing. This must be a patch from the book, and need to find this book. Well, let's go check out the library. In the Civic District. I was like, I'm not seeing that. Okay, Civic District. Let's go find the library. I like the aesthetic in this game, it's very cool. It's point and click, but it feels nice. Um, um. National Library. National Library is a miracle, it's still up and running, considering how underfunded the government is. You need to run a search on the database to know what the section of the library I should be heading for. We photographed the gray-headed fish eagles at Sungay Pandan recently. There are three of them last to check. Used to be six not long ago. Lucky you'll catch them diving to the river for fish. You won't see much of that for the next few years, the way things are going. We need to work on my assignments that are procrastinating. Not today, though. 
Hey, you know what? The future's moving faster than we think. I get this uneasy feeling we're moving towards some sort of inevitable. I guess future ain't what it used to be, huh? I think that's why I prefer reading about history. I, I'm, I like a nostalgia kind of guy. Call me uh, biased, but these days, old school is still the best school. One of the communicators in Chinatown takes me to requires the player to figure things out on their own. It means going online, doing a search for information that could help you crack a clue. In this case, you should run a search for the quote Rupert told you about, and type the author name or the name of the book uh, quote came from the last library's automated receptionist console. Oh. Open an internet browser? No. Oh, it means open mine. Okay. No, thank you. I'll do it on this screen. So... Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this. Um, it's on the histories. How about Hero Dotus? Please proceed to basement one. Here we go. Basement one. I need to do an actual detective work here. Basement one. You wouldn't happen to have a seen a laptop somewhere right here, have you? No? Uh, no worries. Have a good one. Wow, look at that. A new phase. You here for the free Wi-Fi? Hell yeah. I'm looking for a book. <laughs> sure you are. Oh, you're, uh, you're serious. Sorry, it's just that we don't get many visitors looking for books these days. Or these years. Uh, which one are you looking for? I'm looking for the histories by Herodotus. Goodness, Herodotus. Okay, follow me. Here we go, the histories, Herodotus. Took an impress, 1952. Probably hasn't seen the light of day since I was in primary school. Hmm. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. Or is it? On the contrary, a lot of the stuff Herodotus wrote in the book is pretty out of the ordinary. It was his attempt at chronicling the world of his time, and let's just say he got pretty creative. Flying snakes, ants the size of foxes, stuff like that. Hang on. Some parts of these pages have been underlined. Ugh, yeah. Some people like to do that. No, there's something strange about this one. Some of the pages have a single letter underlined. A telltale sign of a cipher. This is a clue. Uh, clue? Yes, a clue, ma'am. Look, I'm trying to track down the last person who used this book. Is there some way I can access CCTV footage of this part of the library? Technically, yes, but you'll have to file a J2 form and an Annex B form and personally hand it over to the director, but he's on vacation in Fiji. Uh, but you could also file an e-application to the security department and... Bureaucracy. No, I haven't got time for that. Hang on. What's going on here? Things are escalating pretty quickly. I'm a private investigator. A person's gone missing, and I'm trying to track him down. The only lead I've got led me to this book. And you're thinking the underlying parts are a clue? I don't think they're a clue. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, we don't think, ma'am. We know. Look, do you think you could at least help me find out who the last person to check this book out was? 
Yes, but I'm not really allowed to tell you. Not even for a hundred dollars? hundred dollars? You know, for your troubles. And of course, there's the priceless sense of accomplishment that comes with uh, helping solve a case. So this is what it's come to. I mean, politicians getting bribed is sort of the norm now. The librarians... Oof. I'm sorry. You're right. That was a stupid idea. Look, I... Uh, tell you what. 300 and you got yourself a deal. What? Being a librarian doesn't exactly pay grade. And times like these, you gotta look out for number one, you know? $300? Oh. Um... 300 it is, I guess. Okay. It says here the book was checked out about 83 hours ago by a Genevieve Go. Address? Well, now we're really breaking the law, aren't we? Let's get real. The law is out of service until further notice. If this person's going to be found, we'll have to work around it. Well, let's see. 42 Budok North Avenue, Unit 12, 4081. Perfect. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Appreciate it? You paid her. Listen, I'm gonna have a look at the book. Maybe I can make sense of the clue. That would be extremely helpful. <laughs> Ooh, does this technically make me a private eye now? Not even kind of. Yeah, you could say that. No. Ah, that's nuts! Okay, I'll let you know if I make a breakthrough. This game's cost me so much money already. I'm a private eye, you know, for a small fee. Uh, let's see. Um, Bedrock North Avenue. Head to Bedrock. Or bed, the dock. I know. We got it. Like, we better start making money. I'm running out of money at this rate. Bedock, Singapore's most populated residential town. Without exact dress, find someone to have looked like me on a grain silo. Well, luckily, I know exactly where to go. Block 42. Better call Rupert. Amir, how are we doing? Found a lead led me to an apartment in Bedock. Block 42, yes. Pretty worrying, you already know, but yeah, I'm here. No one's home, so I can probably hack the lock. Do it. My guys will turn off the block's camera system. It's on the citywide network, so we'll, we'll have to disable... We'll have it disabled by the time you put the phone down. Great, I'll keep you updated. Oh god, memorization again. That line looked familiar. Yes. Oh god, yes. Oh yeah, first try. Access granted. We'll just put the expense of the bribe to the client, yes. Well, someone left in a hurry. I should feel around for the light switch. Um, toggle switch, ooh. See Grand Cru Saint Emilian 2025. Expensive bottle of wine and working class apartment block. Perhaps someone splurged. Someone ran into some newfound cash, perhaps. What's up there? Genevieve was a fan of uh, mech anime. Impressive collection of toy models. Mm, she left such a rush, she left the computer on. Well, looky here. From Young Philip, um, Go Jin Jen, Clan, 
One four four seven nine zip 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 what? The secret code, I'm betting the book the library is the key. Time to head back. What's it here? Whatever you need is looks like she packed up and left out she's still in the country. Well Let's head back to Let's go ahead and head back to the library. Oh, there she is. Saves us some time. Ah, just in time. It appears the book is a key to cracking some secret message. The highlighted letters and the page numbers are linked, and they probably correspond to an encoded message. Ooh, one letter per page means the numbers. Okay. Kind of like this? Hmm, yes. The message is purely numerical. I'm betting these numbers point to a specific page in the book which contains a highlighted letter. Let's try it out. Um... Decipher the secret message. Alright, so... It's either... Okay, 144 L. L, 144. Then 779 or 77. You. Uh, 9999. So D. 104 or 10. 104. 104. 104. There it is, S. Luds. Hmm. Luds. Okay, 104, then 115 or 11. 115. One fifteen or eleven T Luds seven five one or seventy five probably seventy five O um fourteen or one forty two one forty two one forty two I see 143. 142. 142. 140. Oh, there's W. And uh, then 69 in Lud's Town. Then 142 again, which is W. 109. E. Uh, 101, D, 69, N, 109, E, 104, one oh four is S, that's gonna be Wednesday. Nine nine D. It's gotta be Wednesday. Ledgetown Wednesday. One twenty five. One twenty five. Um. Twenty-five. Where are you, my friend? There is S. Uh, one twelve. I. 
97. 97. 97. 97. 97. X six one twenty one is F uh, one twenty one twenty one twenty one twenty is O uh, eighty six. R uh, one fifteen one fifteen T and then one eighty two one eighty two Y Ludstown Wednesday six forty Ludstown Wednesday six forty A meeting place and a time. Ludstown. Never heard of it. Wherever it is, it's probably where Philip and Genevieve have gone off to. I doubt this place is in Singapore. Genevieve left in a hurry. I'm betting this is a flight. Ludstown. Says here there were only three flights at 6.40 on the Wednesday after the email was sent. Istanbul... London and Osaka. I'll have to do a little digging to find exactly where they went. Ludstown. Ludstown, let's see. Ludstown, London? Uh, there's a place in London called Ludstown. I gotta go. Thanks for everything. No problem. I'm meeting, by the way. If you need my help again, you know where to find me. I like that I can put my encyclopedic knowledge to good use, but bring cash. What? <laughs> Noted. Thanks, meeting. I'll be in touch. You can't just help me for the fun of it? Cash. Amira. Robert. Philip Ng and his girlfriend are no longer in Singapore. I expect as much. Do you know where they went? A coupon is still being out, but I need money to book a flight. Say no more. I'm writing a partial payment for the job. Book your flight and get to them as soon as possible. Wherever they are, I can make a few calls, track their precise location. Call me when you land. How does they get back here? Shouldn't be worried about that. Just, just find them. You get a bonus for bringing them back here alive. No, so it is time to fly. The game features a flight book system called Horus. Click the Horus button at the bottom panel and book the flight to wherever you think Philip G. might have gone to. After that, tr after that, to the airport if you're too early for your flight. Speed up time by waiting. Press W to open the wait menu. Find out where Ludstown is. Ludstown. Uh, Geneve, uh, student, serving art school. Uh, Philip, financial controller, single, reservist, infantry sergeant. Istanbul, London, and Osaka. Let's see. What's town? Let's try Osaka.
Osaka. There's no Ludstown, Osaka. Let's try Istanbul. Um, there's nothing in Ludstown involving Istanbul, but it must be London because... There is a brewer called Ludstown. London, so-called Lud, a mythical king of Britain, Ludgate. On the gates of Lud's town, set your heads. Lud's town is, refers to London. So fr from uh, Athens to London. Departing um, 8.03? What time is it now? Oh, well, it's about to be tomorrow. It's a part time. It's about to be tomorrow, so let's um, do O four. Six in the morning. So it gives us six hours to get there, so book flight. Uh, let's go to the airport. Boom. Uh, we did weed shop earlier today. Uh, we're doing uh, China Chinatown, Chinatown Detective Agency. It's available now on Steam. If you want to check it out, um, click the link here in chat under exclamation point CDA. Want to check it out on Steam? It's also on Switch and Xbox. It's also on Game Pass. Okay, let's wait until... Six hours. Wait a minute. Oh my god, the time is wrong. Oh no. The the first one is Oh god no, that Ah Apparently the first one is the date and then the second one's the month. Ah oh, shit. There's no warning. Ah, oh, no. I searched the wrong month. Because the, the, in the other countries, they flip it. Ah, uh, uh, no. Can I, uh... Let's do, wait a, wait a whole month? No. If I book it again, it's gonna cost me another 500. 500 bucks. Oh. 10.30 today. Is there a way to refund the ticket? Ten forty. That sucks. All right, let's call. Um, is it Justin? No, not him. It was. Uh, Rupert Zhao. He will be able to contact and figure out where he is. 
Or not. Um. Did I buy a ticket to Athens? Oh my god. I want. Uh, I wanted London. Oh shit. I thought it was still set to London. God damn it. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Ruby, I think they're in London. Can you reach out your field to see if they track them down? Okay, hang on. Hour later, city surveillance network spotted them in the airport not far from Canary Wharf. God bless the AI powered face recognition. Uh, footage shows a man matched both profile and apartment a few hours ago now. Hopefully, I get a refund on those tickets. A refund on the first oh, ticket. Did? And then, oh. Yeah. Just outside the apartment. Listen, cornered snakes tend to strike in furious desperation. Be careful, just in case. Thanks. Don't worry. There's always a diplomatic solution to every problem. Mr. Ng, I'm Amira Dharma from Singapore. I've been sent to ask you a few questions. Can I have a few minutes? Looks like the diplomatic solution isn't going to work today. You see the crosshair above Amira's head? That means a shootout's about to begin. Press and hold the G key to hold, unholster your gun and begin the shootout. What? What are you doing, Philip? It's done! I'm done! I'm not going back! Yes, you are. So is Genevieve. Alive. Put the gun down. I'm done. I've done what I was told, and I'm gonna live with it. Even if it means we have to die. Whenever you enter a shootout, the mouse cursor will turn to a crosshair. Shoot Philip to disable him. You should always try to shoot your target in the hand or arm to avoid killing them. Care you got limited time to take your shot. If you run out of time, automatically kill your target. Oh my god. Well, that escalated quickly. The woman of the hour is back in the house. Hello, Rupert. How's our man oh, I got, doing? I got paid a bunch of money. He was discharged from the hospital yesterday. He was carted to CID HQ, but not before I could have a word with him. He had quite a story. Oh? Care to share? It appears Philip's little heist wasn't his idea. He had accomplices? Accomplice suggests that it was a team effort, but it's not that. It's more like he received instructions from someone else. Someone that's proving to be elusive. I've got a feeling that you aren't here for a courtesy call. Be thankful. Repeat business is hard to come by these days. Get yourself something good to eat. Get some rest. You've earned it. Call me when you're ready to go deeper down the rabbit hole. Thanks. See you when I see you. Good day, Miss Dharma. Case closed. A few days later. God, what a shithole. <sighs> the things I do for some people. Uh, hi, can I help you? 
Amira Dharma. Yeah, sorry, did we have an appointment? No, I'm a walk-in customer. The door was left open, so I let myself in. I'm Tiger Lily. I apologize for the unannounced visit. I'm here to talk about a potential job. No, that's quite all right. Please, have a seat. Tiger Lily. Is that a stage name or something? Something like that. I'll stand if you don't mind. I actually don't have long. I'll give you the quick abridged version. A friend needs some help with a family matter. Family matter, huh? Here, have a look at this. A stamp encased in a thin, protected plastic film. It's in great condition, part of a cancellation mark is clearly visible. Nice looking stamp. Sure, if you're into that kind of thing. My friend needs someone to return this stamp to the place of its origin. No questions asked. Oh, but I've got so many questions. I'm sure you do. My friend is willing to pay $8,000 for the return of this stamp. No questions asked. $8,000? We will, of course, require some official acknowledgement that it has ended up in the hands of the right people. An email from a government official or museum will do. Okay, so you need me to figure out where this stamp came from, travel all the way there, and return it to anyone willing to take it. Seems fishy. Why doesn't your friend just hire a stamp collector to figure it out and send it to wherever he needs to go via courier? This needs to be done with the utmost confidentiality. It needs to be done in person and it needs to arrive where it needs to safely and securely. If you want a long career in private investigation, you better get used to unusual requests like these. Okay, I'm sure I can work it out. Okay, what a weird case. Good, thank you. Travel expenses won't be covered, so try to keep your movements efficient and decisive. Got it. I'll let you know when I make a breakthrough. Please do. I'll wait for word. It was a pleasure, Miss Dharma. Nice to meet you. Speak to you soon. Okay. Question about the way I need to figure out where the stamp came from. It was part of a cancellation mark in the case the exact city it was sent from. Four letters are part of the city's name. If I could use the missing letters, I can find the specific origin of the stamp, which may prove useful. Well, let's see here. P R O U T. R O U T. What is the what's on there? Let's see. A and Drin Opo Andrinople, which is in Turkey. R U Y T. Oh, I found the exact stamp right here. Uh, postal stamp and postal histories of Turkey. Uh, let's see, from Peras, 
So looking for turkey. So the country of Turkey. I'm seeing gobble gobble. Oh wait, wrong turkey. Hold on. Turkey. Turkey cities. Okay, the major cities is Istanbul. Is me. Oh, hold on. So we're looking for R O U T. R O U T. R O U T. R O U T. You having a good authority to Istanbul was Constantinople? Yep. It's not Constantinople, it doesn't have those letters in it. R O U T Zero. Cities here have R O U T here on this list. Singapore to Istanbul is the only one I can go to that's in Turkey. I think that's the only city that's in Turkey is Istanbul. So it's Friday. There's a flight at 21.55. If we hurry, we can get there. Twenty-one fifty-five. We gotta, we gotta hurry though. 
Find the Tur Istanbul. Well, we know it's at least here. The museum. Let's go see. I think we me. I'm here doing these stamps back to the original country. I hope it came to the right place. Beautiful stamp issued during the Ottoman Empire. It's a beautiful specimen. We know to whom we know our gratitude. General soul wishes to remain anonymous. Let's leave it at that. Museum keep it, but I expect official letter of acknowledgement for our donation. Of course, that's the least we can do. Uh, one last thing, please. Phil Lynch exam is a community run organization. We can't afford official historians. Does the donors have any more information about the stamp? What city it came from? Oh, no. No! It's from Trout, surely. It's from Idurn in Turkey? Really? Where are you guys getting that? Edurn? Uh, formerly known as Andronople or Hadronopolis. R O U T. There's no T in any of those words. Get this idea to go super deep? Oh no. How about, um, L London? Thank you. We'll see now. We'll send, we'll send out our thanks. Let's wait until... Wait, Horace, let's go from Istanbul back to Singapore. Uh, there's one at 1020. 1020, so wait uh, four hours. Going back. <laughs> Let's go back to Chinatown.
All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do giveaway if Kevin's ready. We'll see if Kevin's ready, then the giveaway starts. Um, type hashtag CDA into chat if you want a chance to win a copy of this game. Thanks to developers. Type hashtag CDA. You're playing Chinatown Detective Agency, which, which has been pretty fun so far. A lot of, like, having to search and stuff. Um, the link is also in chat or the SMH point CDA command or also in the YouTube video under the video. Check it out down there. All right, let's see. Thank you. The sends our most heartfelt nation. We consulted our volunteers searching out the sample we really sent from Beirut and Lebanon. What? Which was once part of the empire. Still, your contributions to preservation of historic heritage will enrich the lives of collectors do this to generations to come. Beirut and Le what? Beirut. Okay, that was not not enough clues there for that one. I'm back, got your letter from Miss Bull Museum. Great work, sorry, my friend is quite pleased. Thank you, but I'd like to an explanation, you know, just out of curiosity. Yeah, you'll get more than that, Miss Tara. Please come visit me at my health club in Gayling, uh, wherever, when you get the time, please make it soon. I'll give you the backstory. Perfect. Thank you, see you soon. A stamp of approval. Gayling uh, Health Club. Uh, Beirut was the old name of the city in Beirut. Really? I would. I don't know how you're supposed to get that. That's crazy. Tiger lilies. Miss Dharma. Lily, hope it's not a bad time. It's the perfect time. Please come in. Welcome to my little kingdom. This is Lucas Yo. The former owner of the stamp you brought back to Turkey. Yo. Pleasure to finally meet you, Miss Dama. That was great work. Pleasure's mine, Mr. Yo. Of the revered Yo family, if I'm not mistaken. Revered is a word best suited for those deserving of it. I prefer the word infamous. But legions would disagree, as I'm sure you're well aware of. The Temple of the Self has hundreds of thousands of devoted followers, but Lucas here seems to think it's all a sham. The Temple has been racked with controversy for years, if I may speak frankly. Yes, the game is set in Singapore. Speak as truthfully as you wish. You'd be a holier person than any of my kin for doing so. As you probably already know, the most holy father of the temple, who also happens to be my biological father, has passed away. Yeah, the, I like how like you have you you have to spend money to like solve the crimes and stuff, and like you could fail by running out of money if you like make too many mistakes or something. I have inherited wealth of no small consequence. Wealth I want nothing to do with. That includes a valuable stamp collection that my father amassed through the decades. I have decided to salvage a little decency for my own family by donating them back to their places of origin. The Ottoman stamp was just one of many, and I'm hoping you can help me get rid of a few more. I would be happy to be of service. It's just... Well, I suppose I don't completely understand why. I'm sure some of those stamps could be worth a pretty penny. Tempting, isn't it? You could sell one or two of the stamps to a collector for the same amount of money you would probably earn in a good year. But let me remind you that you would be profiting from a lie. In my opinion, the worst lie of them all. A promise of salvation that can never be kept. You don't know the trail of destruction the temple leaves in its wake, Miss Dama. Point taken. Well, let's take a look at those stamps then. 
Set of two to stand caves and protect the film. No cancellation marks visible, meaning they are potentially in unused condition. Maybe Roman? Set of five stamps from the same series. Uh, in case in protected film, there's a cancellation stamp visible. Harp. Some of these are in mint condition. And I have no use for them. But maybe others will. Please get them to where they'll be better appreciated. I'll get to work. Do I still get a bonus for finding out which city the used ones were sent from? Yes, you'll get something extra for putting in more work. Good luck. Call me when you've got updates. Got it. It was nice meeting you, Lucas. Thank you, sir. Turn the second set of two stamps to their origin country. Oh, okay. Um... I don't know what um, that says. Let's try Google Translate. Not Russian, I mean Roman? Romanian? There it is. Select all. Uh, free state. It is Greek. Capital. Free. So something Greek related. Let's see, we can go to Athens. Today. So this is being fighting in Greek some Greece somewhere. Hmm. We actually went to Athens our once already today. Wait two hours. 
It's in Greek, so probably definitely Greek. One of the few places we can go. The museum. I've only seen something like these in online catalog. I didn't think I'd come face with the real one. Five months in 1912, Vicaria was uh, a free state after fighting its way out of Ottoman rule. During those five months, it printed its own stamps, and now two beautiful specimens right here before me. After Vicaria, from, after those five months, eventually joined Greece, which is still it's still part of today. If you have time to spare, I recommend a visit. It's a beautiful island. I don't want nothing more. Unfortunately, I'm here on business. This will be general dinner, so it's made anonymous. Museum keep it, but it's best official but not to for a donation. Uh, the museum is eternally indebted to him. Thank, thank you, Renter, curator. Alright, and then let's see. The next one. Series of five stamps from the same series. In case in protective film, there's cancellation stamps visible. What is that structure there? Oh, and there's language on there. Maybe it's Korean? Let's see. Could be Korean. It looks like the Shanghai Tower. Quite different from that. I don't recognize. I'm going to go to Boston, Budapest, Cairo, Chengdu, Des Moines, Dubai, Hong Kong, Istanbul, Jerusalem, London, Los Angeles, Mexico, Delhi, Paris, Rio, Singapore, Shanghai. Um, let's see. Let's look up ancient Chinese towers. any of those kind of a unique ring structure Okay, um, Google Lens says it's the Menchukuo. Menchu. Q. 
duo. Which is Mongolia. Eastern Inner Mongolia and Manchuria. Yeah, so... Where would that be? Where is Mongolia? I think it's northeastern China. So I guess Hong Kong? So Victoria, Toronto, Temper, Singapore, Shanghai, Rio, Paris, Osaka, New Delhi, Lumpur, Jerusalem, Istanbul, Hong Kong, Dubai, Des Moines, Chengdu, Cairo, Budapest, Boston, Athens. Those are the only options. All right, uh, Kevin is going to draw three winners, so uh, you'll get a whispered a code for the game if you win, so make sure your twist whippers are open. Uh, he'll go ahead and draw them now. Seven hours. Wait, three more hours. some stamps are uh, from when Manchuria was governed by the Japanese. You see them keep it, but expect special acknowledgement. Just their own nerf fuse was love besides one special. The Cantonese mark fuse sent up a city within Manchuria. Any idea which?
carbon? I'm gonna buy a curator. Thanks. Try harbin. A little bit better with stamps. Deserve Nobel Peace Prize. A little bit around. Better, better, better head back home. Alright, let's go back to Singapore. Game kind of feels like a flight simulator sometimes. <laughs> Take a flight here. Take a flight there. Take a flight here. Take a flight there. 8.45. Wait. Uh, three hours. Okay, go home. Alright, let's go back home. And the office. Let's check our emails, make sure we got both of them. Uh Donation is five stamps. Also, thank you for your effort in personally delivering the stamps. Please inform me that you're right. The used stamp was from Harbin. Letter of gratitude. Greek heritage. No inspiration to museum. Maybe just come admire it. Well, thank you. Lily, I have confirmation emails from Athens and Shanghai for the stamps. Excellent. I'm sure Lucas will be quite... Pleased. Your payment will be transferred shortly. Great work. Glad to be of service. Thanks for using Chinatown Detective Agency. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Ladder Rabbit, for the 611 well, resub. Chinatown Detective Agency could certainly be of more help to me. Do drop by whenever you can. Lucas's grievances with the temple and his family are becoming more complicated. Sounds good. I'll be over when I can. Thank you, Amira. Good to know there are still a few good, reliable people in this city. They're there if you look. Speak soon. Money in the bank. Ooh, 21,000. Nice. Case closed. Yeah, this game doesn't really hold your hand. It's like... You have to figure everything out on your own. A few days later. You want to play this game now? Well, you can check it out. It's on Switch. It's on Xbox. You can also click the link in chat. And check it out on Steam. Unknown message. Um, good evening, Miss Dharma. I would like to inquire about your availability to assist and confidence or very matter requires investigation. Possible can meet discuss matter in person. I'm afraid I cannot reveal the details in the email or on call. Hope you understand. Looking forward to your reply. Dr. Pan. Dr. Pan, thank you for sending a message. At China Tech, we see we pride ourselves in providing excellent services for. China Tech Agency is Singapore's premier private investigation agency. Over eight years in law enforcement and. Happy to help. Where, what do you propose? Where do you propose we meet? Um, meet at 11 p.m. Bus stop, St. Andrews Road, Civic District. Special notice approach. I don't have a lot of time. See you at 11. It's kind of sus. Should see the link in chat under the announcement Lubot's putting in the chat. Hmm. Could be a waste of my time. But maybe not. Let's see what this Dr. Pan is all about. Wonder if it, I hope his last name is Cake. Dr. Pan Cake. Oh, 
Han Keck. We want the bus stop. Sorry, ma'am. This area is closed off. Please, keep moving. What's happened here? I see a body tent. We're currently investigating the scene. Please, move along, ma'am. Are you CID? Who's your supervisor? Ronnie? Ronnie Kang? Uh, I'm, I'm not allowed to divulge any... Listen, I'm a PI. I was supposed to meet someone here. I've got a bad feeling he's under your body tent. I just want to have a look. I know the drill. I won't mess up your crime scene. And besides, Ronnie owes me one. You get five minutes. And please, don't touch anything. Stick with me. Five minutes? That's all I need. Cause of death? Looks like multiple stab wounds to the abdomen. A passerby heard him call for help and called the police in. Uh, cause of death is he's not breathing. He was dead when they got here. The passerby is on her way to the station. Do we have ID on the victim? I'm afraid that's confidential until we release the information publicly. Was his last name Pan? He was the guy you were supposed to meet? Yeah. He got in touch, wanted to speak with me. He was a potential client. Carl Pan, according to his identity card, worked at National Water. Could I have a look at his smart device? Tell you what, come with us to the station, give a statement, and I'll let you view the device, but under supervision. Fair trade. Let's go. Hey, Justin. I just got Justin back from your time. neck of the woods. Yes, I know. I heard about Dr. Pan. These jokers are moving too slow. They've dispatched one investigator to interview his family and colleagues. One investigator for potentially scores of people. That's the way the cookie crumbles, Superintendent Co. Oh, it's crumbling, all right? Fucking hopeless. Language, sir. I hope you're onto something. You've probably got a better chance of getting any real leads on this. I managed to reset his email password on his device while the, uh, trainee assigned to the evidence room took a bathroom break. I gotta say, Justin, you're working with the best and brightest, aren't you? Don't start. Check his emails. You're bound to find something there. I'll see what I can pull out of it. Would love it if you covered my tracks a bit. Just do what you have to do. Or keep them out of your hair. Invitation to the crystal clear ball. Hey, hi Carl. No, there won't be security at the venue. We don't feel the need for it as it'll be a small event. And yes, event info was already included in the first email sent last week. Here it is again. Venue, Ms. Marlow Residence, 9 Bradley Avenue near MRT Station, uh, Bucket Tama, uh, time 21.03-337 from 7 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Please show the attached invite to the gay staff. They're not employees of the company, so they won't know us by face. No invite, no entry. Please don't make me pick you up outside. Regards, Annie. Annie. Okay. You were supposed to be at a party, Dr. Pan. Terribly unfortunate you won't be able to attend. You can fail submission channel technology. Sometimes that means a missed opportunity to earn money. Other times it means game over and you have to start from the last save point. If you don't arrive at the event and indicate time, you'll fail the mission and start from the last uh, save checkpoint again, so try to be punctual.
Um, crystal clear ball. Nine Broadleaf Avenue. Bucket to Ma. Uh, book, bukit, bukit, tima, bukit tima, bukit tima. So let's go bukit tima and so tomorrow. No, today actually today now. Um, 1800. So 1800, so let's do 1600. Wait one hour now. Mansion courtyard. Justin, I'm at the event. Great, snoop around, talk to some people, you're bound to find something out. Go text word, just like the old days, huh? Yeah, but no one knows who you are, really. What's your story? Most of the folks are national water employees. I'll pack, I can't piss off one of them. The journal is covering the event for an industry publication. Yeah, that'll do. Less talking, more asking. Listening is probably the best approach. No cops are available, so do we speak to guests reveal your options? Well, aren't you a sight? I get that a lot. That pin, you must be from the ministry. Ah, attention details. So smart. Yes, Gerald Chen, Ministry of Trade, Industry of Service. And you are? Oh, just a, ju journalist, a journal, junior journalist covering the event. Junior? With your bra beauty and brains, you ought to be an editor. Oh, Mr. Chen. What did they put in the water that turned you into a master of flattery? Uh, you're not drinking, I see. Shame. The water will be costing classy credit soon enough. I, bought a I brought a little dose of my own from home. Good old vodka. Blends in nicely with water. Crystal clear. Answered our problems, the government. We've been struggling to upkeep their services. And along came Latente, the most excellent idea. I mean, some people might not be for it, but that's up to them. It is it is where we are. The public needs their services to run smoothly. The government needs the money. My job is to make sure that happens. Besides, the company's owners have been very generous. Just, just uh, tell me, have you seen the inside of Vortex 3 before? Maybe a little later. Could you give me a peek? My pleasure, my dear. Carl? Guy was causing trouble with some powerful people, la. You don't mess with money, little girl. Me, you want to talk to me? Crystal Clear? What do you mean you don't know about Crystal Clear? I was covering the event from a news portal. I was hoping I could learn more about it. Well, it's only the most revolutionary new inventive initiative from the government. Why don't you wait for our CEO's address? She's giving a short speech a minute or two. Carl? Carl, no, I'm killed, you say? Goodness. Mm -hmm. Let me help you with it. Uh, crystal clear? Uh, so no one knows about it, at least not everyone. Tonight's supposed to be an announcement, just as clear as you are. Carl? I think maybe Sally knows. She works in engineering. Apologies, my dear. That's my cue. Let's talk later. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my humble abode. Thank you for joining us on this marvelous occasion. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the future of water consumption in Singapore. I'm sure you all agree with us that in life, you should get what you pay for. That moon is huge. 
And why should water be any different? <laughs> Tonight we are officially unveiling Crystal Clear, the water of the future. It can't be any worse than Crystal Pepsi. I see many of you are already enjoying this feat of product design. Purified water fortified with nutrients and flecked with microscopic gold. For that added set, National Water will be introducing Crystal Clear as a subscription plan, which should roll out to the public in a couple of weeks. Oh my god. And for tonight only, help yourself to as much as your heart desires. And sign up to the gold plan at a special employee discount. Cheers, and enjoy the evening. Water with gold flecks in it? Interesting. Sashimi, cheese is cured meats, dim sum. Uh, not really a meal, but I suppose if you ate enough. I wonder how many of the guests are headed uh, to a fast food joint after the party. Like a drink? I like to stay dry, thanks. It's not alcohol, it's water. Everything here everything is water here. Is it clear? Yes, the company CEO or the government fishery manager somewhere. Scientist too, but he knows more. Carl? No Carl, what kind of can help you there? Oh hello. I didn't mean to interrupt, I was just asking you questions. I'm writing an article about the event. I don't think you're the right person to interview. Think I can help, Carl? Carl was much braver than me. He did the. He was the kind of guy that just wanted to do the right thing. Make sure the truth got out. Warned him he was playing with fire, though he, they thought he had the evidence. The city has gone to the fucking dogs. Crystal clear? It's not the best thing since bottled water. I can show you that. I mean, of course, I think it's the best product market or soon to be on the market. I'm a scientist of the company. A signed, made a non disclosure to Zach, which is clear and won't be any details about the products. There's now mu not much use asking me about it. Surely National Water is transparent about the whole thing. They don't shout about their grand scheme only, be, only being beneficial to those who can afford it. And for the investors who benefit. They don't mention it because they don't want uh, the rich to know that what the rest of us end up with. Should have said too much. Open bar time is good for me. Liquor kiss the tongue wagon. I think there's just one person left. Oh, hello. Which department do you work in? Uh, I'm a journalist at Sea Insider. I was hoping to hear from you about this bold new project. Oh, I didn't know the press would be here. Ask away. Just to clear. It is not just the inevitable future. It is the inevitable now. In all other areas of life, we choose our level of quality and commitment. Mobile plans, connectivity speed, food subscriptions. Water was just the next logical step. There was worry that it was using a public service to deliver a good that only few could afford. But I mean, it's not a crime to give the market what they want, is it? Technically, no. National Water needs to stay profitable, and if that means giving the upper class better products and services, then that's where we would pivot towards. National Water is not a charity, after all. We have shareholders. Carl? Carl. Carl. Does he work for me? <laughs> I can't be expected to keep track of the thousands of employees. I'm a visionary, not a robot. Surely someone with vision would notice something like this happen. Are you suggesting that I'm lying? Listen, I don't know who this Carl is, but you're not the first person to accuse me of doing what's necessary to pull this company out of the abyss. Sure, I didn't get to the top without shaking a few branches, but that doesn't make me guilty of anything but success. I'm at the top of my game. Why would I be involved in something like this and mess all that up? I don't think I like where this interview is going. I give you no permission to publish anything we just spoke about. Unless you want to hear from our little legion of lawyers. Uh, enjoy. enjoy your evening. Justin, something sinks that national water. I'm pretty sure it's uh, some sort of collusion taking place between some government officials and the company. I'm going to call a friend interior. Do you think we can dig out some more evidence? We need some paper trail. If I can get Lenina's email somehow, surely she's got a computer or terminal inside the house. That's where the premises is in order. I'll try it, no guarantees. If there's nothing, I'm out of here. 
Wait for my call to the office. Granite statues, rejoicing deity. Hmm. Well, let's try leaving, I guess. I might have used the bathroom. You can answer the guest washroom is the right of the main main rear door. Trying to be gone too long. Can't have a thing about strangers in my home. Back the type thinks. Yes, I'm just gonna go inside your study to use the potty. Just a minute study this computer. I'll try it and hack into your emails. I'm gonna take my sweet time for you. Get out in the next five minutes with with or without Intel or you're in some deep shit. Oh, five minute timer? Uh, Asia's Longest River, local name. Uh, it is Chang. Jiang. Gerald Chen, read trouble. Um, I'll take care of it, G. Distressing information from um, Hasbet Ahmed from to Larita. An issue. Apparently our IT manager has proof that someone from engineering is legally copying confidential information onto a personal device. Information that could sink this entire project. I expect that the professional fees you've been paid covers cleaning up stuff like this. Nothing messy, please. Just get the stolen information back and scare the hell out of a little shit. L, thank you for using hockey encrypted email service. Stay unhackable with Kati. I'll take care of it. G. Hi, Loretta. I'll make sure to drop by. Many thanks. Hafi. Hey, Hoff, I'd like to speak to you in person. I'm happy to take you through the project more detail to address all your concerns. I'll have you sit, see things my way. Drop by at 5 p.m. Please tell Jenny you have an appointment. Um, from Hasbet Ahmed to the research information. I hope you find out. I've gone through the documentation provided by corporate. I've found some things to be incredibly disturbing. I have some questions. You're proposing three service tiers, crystal clear, pure, and basic. We're not breaking some sort of trade laws by doing this. Documentation details that chemical impurities of each tier. Are you aware that basic falls below national guidelines? There are also borderline toxic levels of arsenic and pure, and actual tox levels of arsenic and BFOA and basic. This is very distressing, and I must seek clarification from you on whether these have been given the proper oversight it deserves. I eagerly await uh, any clarification from your side. Hafi. That was Hoffy. Jess, I don't know where to begin. What did you find? Meet me back at the office. Whole thing is crooked to the core. National port water is poisoning the water supply. It have been so price and the government's scrambling. Justin, hi. I wasn't expecting a plus one. Amira, this is Deputy Secretary of the Ministry of Trade and Industry. That's Here a long name. Ms. Dharma, a pleasure to meet you. Excellent work on national water. Kiran has been on a crusade to expose corruption in his ministry. Chen and Marlo are just the tip of the iceberg, apparently. The emails that you found were a very important lead and we managed to interrogate quite a few employees at National Water, and that led to several key testimonies. We've got enough to put the both of them behind bars very soon. I've been trying to find evidence against Minister Chen for months now. You 
have answered my prayers. Now, as Justin has said, I really am on a crusade to expose people like Minister Chen and their corrupt practices in office. I hope you've got space for another client. Of course. Happy to be of service. I am always open to more people paying me money. Please, do come over to my office at the ministry sometime soon. There's something I need to walk you through. Something that could cause shockwaves if we get to the bottom of it. Sounds good. <laughs> this sounds like my kind of job. Business is booming, isn't it, Dama? Where's my card, huh? Ah, uh, that sounds like a conflict of interest to me, Superintendent Ko. Hey, chill. It's a joke. You know what a joke is, right, Mr. Ayer? Haha, uh-huh, funny man. Well, time to punch out. I've got an early damage control meeting tomorrow. I uh, hope to see you again very soon, Mr. Arma. I'll be sure to drop by when I can. Uh, you had to wait the next minute for this game. It's on Game Pass, too, if you guys have Game Pass. Uh, Justin, get a shower and a change of clothes, man. You look rough. Night, night, Kieran. So, what do you think? How am I doing? Not bad, but may I offer some advice? Sup? Remember Detective Fong? Nick Fong? Vaguely. He worked the murder-suicide at the retirement home? St. Vitus or something? St. Vitus home for the aged, yeah. I don't know if you ever found out. You left the force before it happened. Nick hung himself at home in 2026. Wife found him after coming home from work. My god. I never knew. I didn't really know him. He wasn't cut out for homicide. They shouldn't have put him there. Nobody asked about him. No well-being status reports or anything like that. The St. Vitus case was one thing. Then he had to do a couple of other tough ones. One didn't even land a conviction. The guy was never charged. Rich kid. Nick had to explain to the poor girl's parents why the person who kidnapped and killed their daughter was able to leave the country and study abroad like nothing happened. He saw the lowest of the low. And when you see that shit, when you see too much of it, it fucks with you. I was a cop once too. I know what this line of work makes you give. So if you're going to offer me sage advice on how not to let it get to my head, save it. No, I know. I'm just saying you gotta choose and pick your work. You've got the luxury of being able to do that now that you're a PI. You take on all three clients at the same time, something's going to give. What do you suggest then? Pick one. Get to know the client and get to the bottom of their problem. Be more focused and a lot less exhausted. Who do you suggest I go with? Uh, that's up to you. You've got a client that's connected to the rich and powerful. And I heard you did some work for Lily. Watch out for that one. She plays chess, but the rest of the room is playing checkers. Let me sleep on it. Yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. Fuck. What was that? Bombing. What? Oh no. I'm coming along. Let's go. A bombing? Oh shit. That's a cool drone firefighter. Chris, what's going on? Hang on, sir. Uh, Civil is trying to contain the fire. Unconfirmed number of fatalities and injuries. When did it happen? Around half past eight. There's a team compiling surveillance footage now. Justin. You're going to need ambulances. Call for extra. Where is... Hey, Justin! What? Look at this.
The hand that wields the flaming sword is burned by a fire that knows no master. Good night, Singapore, and good luck. Two weeks later. The end of every month, Amira receives her rent and utility bills. They'll be sent as emails and can be found in her inbox. You can pay them directly from those emails. Everybody under cost pressure to keep her bills paid, uh, so manage her money carefully. So that way, when she talks to her sister, she can tell her, you know, I, g I got my bills paid. Um, Warning, if Mira doesn't pay her bills for two months straight, it's game over. Well, let's see. Three minutes times look enough band to work uh, full time for one of them. Let's see what do is bite, bite up more than I can chew. It's gonna be. Tell them, let them know. Six thousand dollars for one month? Holy shit. Time to choose uh, which client Amir worked for full time. Since that will permanently affect the game's story, missions available to you. Once you decide to commit to the client of choice, no going back unless you start a new game or load a save before you made the decision. You don't have to make a decision right now. You can choose to do another case for each of the three clients before making up your mind. Uh, when you're ready, you need to inform the client you want to work with via phone call. Open those con contacts with your data pad. Come on them to start your next case, inform the client, or inform that you want to work with them full time. Note that you'll only be able to call the clients by your decision you're not currently on an active mission. Now, may say it gets launched down in the middle of a mission, the game will still have save at the end of each mission. So it has replayability where you can go back and um, play it again and do different missions for different people. Oh, there you go. Save game. And probably you have to play all three of them to like get the, every ounce of story. So that's going to be lots of options. But yeah, $6,000. Holy crap. That's something that's going to be issue though. We made so much money on that mission. Will probably be fine. So we can do one more mission for each of the clients if we're committing to one of them. Let's do Rupert. Amira, I was beginning to wonder if you were ever going to call again. What's up? I want to do a new case. Before I forget, great work on the National Water case. Thanks. I see you're keeping up with the times. I am. And I also know you ran an errand for Tiger Lily. Are you two acquaintances? I keep to my neck of the woods and she to hers. It's an unwritten agreement that not only ensures both our longevities, but also keeps things civil. I like to avoid awkward greetings at events we both attend. You know what I mean? Anyway. Listen, we need to speak with an important contact, an acquaintance of Philip, and someone familiar with the group that planned the whole thing. Perfect. Where do we meet? There's a wine bar I frequent. Low key, the kind of place that's appropriate for these kinds of things. It's called the White Mare, near Bugis. See you there. Oh, do the lights not turn green? They should have. Let me try restarting the app. Maybe it broke. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like it broke. Again. Damn. Oh, there you go. There's your green one. King and the Philosopher. Hey, 
Hey, mating, right? Your powers of deduction are impressive, Amira. I know, I might consider a career in police work. I was just calling to remind you that if you're stuck with something, anything, or a clue or a lead, you can't wrap your mind around it. Give me a call. I'll be sure to help you in some way for cash. Anyway, I'll be sure, amazing, I'll be sure to do that. Don't bother coming to the library. I'm in your kind of list, so give me a ring whenever you need me. God, thanks, bang. I'll see you soon. Let's see. Someone redeemed white, it never happened either? Okay. Sorry, I guess it was broken. Let's see if it works now. Okay, it looks like it's working again. Just had a little snafu there. So we need to go to White Mare and Bugus. Or Bugus. White Mare. I like the aesthetic of the atmosphere in this game. It's very cool. White Mare. Never seen a point click venture presented in this way before. It's very Amira, cool. Amira, over here. Ooh, music. that table there. Can't seem to click. On uh, this table, though it looks like he's at. I don't know how to uh, click on this table. It won't let me click on it. If it's bugged or what, I can't click on it. It must have bugged out. Oh well. Well, um, the last uh, two hours have been sponsored by the developer of this game and Humble Bundle Games. If you guys want to check out the game? Click the link in chat under the exclamation point. Um, CDA command. Uh, links in chat there. It's on Steam. It's on Switch. It's on Xbox. It's on Xbox Game Pass. Um, check the link. This game's got a lot of like cool unique features and stuff and I really like the presentation it's like a point click adventure but done in a cool way with a unique UI which I like um, go ahead and check it out if you're watching this on YouTube make sure you click the link below the channel check it out on Steam um, and thanks again for the sponsorship very cool little game